Hey guys, it's Marissa. So in today's video, it's going to be another random beauty support group video for the month of December. And this month, Aries Life on YouTube, who is actually the creator of this collaboration that we keep doing every single month, she gets to do the makeup look of what we should be doing for this month's video. And the word that was chosen for her was the word shop. She wanted to go ahead and choose like a makeup look theme for like Santa's workshop or you could do a makeup look revolving around your favorite store to shop at, but I wanted to do something Christmassy just because it is the month of December and it's just very in season and very festive as well. So I just did like a Santa's workshop kind of theme makeup look and it has just like the red and greens in it. And then with the classic like red matte liquid lipstick and I just really like it. I think it's really pretty. You could wear this to like any kind of Christmas party or you know, if there's like a Christmas party at your work or something like that, it's just very festive and I just really like it. It's just really super pretty. So if you're interested in seeing my makeup look, you can keep on watching. But if you're also interested in seeing the other ladies makeup looks, I will be linking that down in the description below. So I'm first going to be just creating a base for my eyes like always. I'm going to go ahead and use the CoverGirl Concealer Stick in the shade Neutralizer. And I'm just going to add this to my eyelids and blend it out using my finger. I'm just going to go ahead and use my ring finger since my nail came off for that one. But it's just easier to blend in when you have shorter nails. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that for most majority of the eye look. And I'm always using the James Charles palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to use some other palettes too, just because it's so easy to just grab that one since all the colors are in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Nightmare Before Christmas palette, and I'm gonna take this matte red shade right here called What's This? And I'm just gonna dip it using this round Alta brush that I have, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just buff it out at first. Um, I'm not gonna add too much at once. I'm just gonna create like a slight transition with it. And then I'm gonna pack it on even more just so that vibrancy is very noticeable because right away it's already super vibrant, but I'm just gonna pack it on more after I have it placed where I want it to be. Next, I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer and using an e.l.f. concealer brush, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of create a half cut crease with this. I really need to clean this brush, but I've been too lazy to do it. So I'm just going ahead and using one side that doesn't have the previous color on there. So the next step, I'm using my e.l.f. precision brush. And I'm going to be dipping into this really beautiful white shimmery shade. It's just like white as snow. And it's the shade Zero. So I'm just going to use this e.l.f. precision brush and a little bit of my finger. And I'm just going to pat that on where I place that. NYX Glitter Primer just so it creates a super tacky base and with just a little bit of effort, not a lot, like there's just a lot of coverage and it definitely will not move or crease throughout the day. I'm going to go back in with that red shade and I'm just going to kind of fill in that gap between this white and the red and just kind of blend it in and create more of a transition. I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner. This is in the shade Jet Black and I'm just going to create an eyeliner wing with this. Now before I clean up the fallout and stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and use that e.l.f. precision brush again. And using this shimmery black shade Halloween Town, I'm just going to go ahead and set that eyeliner that I used just so it's a little bit more matte and it kind of just smokes it out a little bit, just slightly. Now using a Clinique Makeup Remover Wipe, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up all of that fallout and just sharpen the outer edges of that wing a little bit more. Now to prime my face, I'm just gonna take a break from the eyes for a quick second. I'm gonna use the Artless Glow Base and I'm just going to go ahead and just add this and rub it into my skin. For concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Concealer. This is the Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral or 12N. 
my heater just came on so if you hear any background noise that's what it is but i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this in now using the real techniques beauty complexion sponge Now I'm going to set my under eyes using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face using the Butter Bronzer in the shade 6676 and I'm just going to take an Alta Blush Brush. I'm also going to go ahead back with the Nightmare Before Christmas palette and I'm gonna take the shade Sandy Claws, which is like this hot pink, and just like lightly dabbing it with a different Alta Blush brush. I'm just gonna add it like right, right where my cheekbone like jawline is, not like the apples of my cheek, just kind of like right here, so it kind of snatches and lifts my face up a little bit more. My face has been super dry lately just because of the weather being so cold here in Michigan, so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually spritz my face with this Morphe setting spray just so I can help blend it out a little bit better onto my skin yeah i don't know about you guys but my skin is always just very dry and like flaky during this time of year and the face wash that i use it also dries out my skin which doesn't help but i need it because without it then my skin is actually too oily without it so i'd rather just deal with me having dry skin that's than super oily skin that makes me break out but it can be annoying in the winter and then I'm gonna go back in just a little bit and kind of retouch up some of those areas. Then I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face and also kind of bake some parts. And then using that Nightmare Before Christmas palette, I am gonna contour my nose a little bit more using the shade Dear Friend. And I'm just gonna take this uh, crease brush, the It Cosmetics crease brush with by Alta. I'm just gonna lightly add it and then I'm just gonna take some more of that setting powder and just bake around where I just set that. Then using the shade Dear Friend and In My Bones, I'm just gonna take the e.l.f. angled brush and just fill in my brows with those two shades. Then I'm gonna go ahead using the James Charles palette and just take a few greens from here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this light green and this dark green and add it to my lower lash line. And I'm just gonna apply those using this e.l.f. precision brush. Then I'm just gonna wipe away all that stuff that I used to bake my face. And then I'm gonna apply these Ardell lashes, they're fake lashes. And I'm just gonna apply these using some Eyler lash glue then i'm gonna just use the ulta beauty maximum lashes mascara in the shade black and just add it to my lower lashes i'm gonna spritz my face one last time and add a highlight to it and i'm just gonna go ahead and use this white shade as the highlight which is the shade zero and i'm just gonna apply it using this it cosmetics brushes for ulta and this is the all over shadow brush And then lastly for lips, I'm going to use the Melted Matte Too Faced Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Candy Cane. It smells so good too. I got this last year and I just really like these. And I am going to take a little bit of that Zero shade again and just add it to like the center of my lips. And then there you guys have it. This is the completed look. Um, so I just went ahead and chose the Santa's Workshop theme for this look. It's just very Christmassy and just definitely in season with like the colors and stuff. So I absolutely love how this turned out. 
I am going to be adding the playlist link in the description. There might also be a pinned comment also down below of this video just so you can check out the other ladies videos and just see how they did their looks for this month's challenge. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and if you're interested in seeing more videos like this from me in the future, you can always subscribe down below because I upload every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and I'll just see you guys next time. Bye!